visitor in my hands here. Um, you've all had a chance to see what's up on stage. Um, I'm going to give you a peek on what's, it, uh, on what's inside and uh, kind of show you a little bit about the Z workstation. The thing that's fun to show off, and I'm showing off right now, is I just walked up the aisle here with a workstation in one hand. And so you see these wonderful handles. Um, when we worked on creating this design, uh, the design really was something that we said, we're going to design this new from the inside out, but we're going to start from the outside in. And the outside meant talking to our customers, really spending a lot of time <coughs> understanding what their needs were and what they wanted. One of the things they said they wanted was handles. Another dimension of that, they said, you know, we're always moving these things around. PCs have got rubber feet on the bottom. This one has no rubber feet. In fact, you can slide it back and forth with ease on carpet and on tile floors just as easily. So we started off first with how do we make this really functional from the outside? <coughs> so let me put it up here and give you a real kind of detailed view of exactly what the product looks like. With BMW Design Works, we really worked on creating something that had a real message to it. A message of performance, of style, as well as best in class. And so what you see is something that's got very elegantly designed, but very simply designed, brushed aluminum side panels. So panels on both sides. As well as, we've got very clean lines on the front of the workstation. This design here basically has a slot load feed, so it's very clean on the front. If you've got multiple optical bays, you can actually replace this and have multiple optical bays in front here so you have more access points. But again, very clean overall. It still is the same size as our previous workstations. So as Jim said, we can still put this into a rack. And we've got a lot of customers who embed these systems into their complex designs, medical systems or whatever. And having that size was critical. Now that was a real challenge because with new technology and more and more capacity, how do you cool it, how do you manage that? And others have basically grown the chassis or moved things higher. Um, we said we've got to keep the chassis the same size, and so we really worked hard on that. But as we, we've talked about, I'm going to turn to the side here a little bit more so everyone can see this, is it's what's on inside that really ultimately makes the difference. And so when we open up the, the side panel here, what you see is a design on the inside that is a continuation of what we saw on the outside. So what you see is something that is not just a bunch of wires and computer components and hard drives, points all over. So there's a number of them all over. I'm going to kind of walk through those with you and tell you a little bit about that. But those green touch points represent places for which you can service the workstation. Um, and the first one I'm going to point out is right up on top here. This green handle right here. I'm going to pull out the power supply. <coughs> and most people are quite amazed that I can pull the power supply out without disconnecting at least 500 different cables. Um, this is, we think, one of the first power supplies ever designed to be customer serviceable and does not require any disconnection of cables and so forth. So that's kind of you know, point number one. How do we do that? We use a technology called blind main connectors. So we've got these connectors back here which plug into connectors in the back of the workstation. And so it easily plugs in and, uh, and is, is able to it'll take out. The second thing that's important, and I'm actually going to position it this way because it's the, it's the same direction as the workstation. You look, is that the power supply actually goes the entire length of the chassis. What we have up front here are the inlet fans that cool the power supply. And if you look where those inlet fans are positioned, as Jim showed in his diagram, those fans are at the front of the chassis. So again, one of the first power supplies in the workstation class products for which inlet air to the power supply is actually fresh air that comes from the front of the workstation.